Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Ramya Valiveru. I'm an endocrine and breast surgeon and oncologist practicing with Kim's Hospitals, Hyderabad. In this video, let us understand what is parathyroid adenoma and what is the surgery or the treatment done for this disease. It's one of the rare diseases affecting the glands called as parathyroid glands. We all have a butterfly shaped gland called as thyroid in the front of our neck. Behind this thyroid gland, there are very small grain sized, about 5 millimeter endocrine glands called as parathyroid glands, about 4 in number. But of course, they can be 3 or more than 4 in few individuals. But in most individuals, there are about 4 glands. These glands can get affected with various diseases, but one of the common conditions that affects is called as a primary hyperparathyroidism, meaning the glands start over-functioning. So basically, parathyroid glands are supposed to maintain the calcium levels of the body. So the bone is the greatest reservoir of calcium. And this parathyroid gland produces a hormone called as parathormone, along with vitamin D and few other hormones. These chemicals maintain the calcium levels in the body in a very narrow, acceptable range, optimal range. So uh, in the patients who get affected with primary hyperparathyroidism, it can uh, result because of a benign or a non-cancerous tumor called as a parathyroid adenoma. So either one or more than one of the parathyroid glands can start developing a benign tumor which results in patients levels of hormone uh, of PTH increasing that is parathormone increasing which results in increased calcium levels in the body. So in the blood. So the bones become weak against the unacceptably high levels of a calcium in the blood. So this causes patients to uh, have severe bone pains, headaches, constipation and various other problems. So earlier this was thought to be a very very rare disease but nowadays because of including serum calcium level testing in all the routine health checkups it has been observed that it is indeed not a very uncommon disease. It is quite common. So in some patients Unlike adenoma, there could be multiple glands that can get, affect, uh, can get affected, which is called as parathyroid hyperplasia. So uh, rarely, of course, parathyroid glands, like any other uh, organs in the body, can get affected with cancers as well. But it is very, very rare. And these diseases can affect just the individual or they can run in families like many endocrine diseases. So these are very unique set of problems and the endocrine surgeons and endocrinologists specialize in the treatment of this. So if we diagnose a patient with a parathyroid adenoma, which is generally done by doing an ultrasound scan or a MEB scan, system MEB, a nuclear scan, then we subject the patient to a surgery called as focused parathyroidectomy or we may choose to perform bilateral neck exploration and resection of the glands. So in the post-operative period, when the parathormone levels decrease, the patient's calcium may fall and they may need calcium supplements for a few weeks. And the bone health regains uh, over few months. So uh, be, be aware that if you have been detected with increased calcium, be sure to get checked with an endocrine surgeon and an endocrinologist. Thank you.